been lucky enough to travel to 14 Olympic Games, 11 of them with NBC, and I've seen a lot of impressive things. So I got to tell you, being in a room filled with the greatest women athletes in the world is just as impressive. Thank you all for being here. These are two uh, young athletes who represent the power of the Women's Sports Foundation. Please welcome to the stage, Angelique Lopez and Aliyah Marrero. I remember telling her, Mom, this is what I want to do, and I know I'm capable of doing this. I remember walking to the tryouts, seeing over 300 girls in there, and automatically freaking out, thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it on the team, but still, I still tried out, gave it my all. The next week I hear my name on the list of 30 girls out of the 300 girls who got on the team and I was one of them and it was the best <laughs> feeling in the world. <laughs> Definitely the coolest thing about tennis besides Billie Jean King. Uh, I think it's definitely the adrenaline. Like, <laughs> how, like Wait, you have adrenaline? <laughs> Like how powerful you feel when you're gonna hit the ball. You have no self-doubt whatsoever. It <laughs> evaporates. Please welcome my co-host from ESPN, Julie Foudy. And tonight as a special treat, we'll be pairing some of our elite athletes with girls who are dreaming of someday being champions and whose organizations are supported by the Women's Sports Foundation. Let's begin the new Women's Sports Foundation Grand March of Athletes. Natasha Hastings! Please welcome Oksana Masters and Leah Zalea. Colette Smith! Katie Smith and Zoe Francis Bunkley. Karen Davies and Julia Morales. Goff and her daughter is a Pyeongchang Olympian, Jalen Goff. Hail to the Chief, Greta Eliasson. Heather O'Reilly and Raquel Rico. Give it up for Clarissa Shields. Here's Sarah Hughes and Natalie Ramos Flores. Asia Evans, Cameron Myler, Natalie B. On guard for Nazinga Prescott, Caitlin Ohashi, and Hillary Pena. Amaya Hernandez and the founder of the Women's Sports Foundation, the Kinger, Billy Jean King. These are our leaders now and our future leaders that are here. And so I just want to wish them the best because you can make a difference. And each and every one of you is an influencer and you each can make a difference too. So thank you very much, I appreciate your Everything you see here tonight and the progress that we've made together was sparked by one remarkable woman, Billie Jean King. Billie Jean is known for so, ma so many memorable sayings, but one that's resonated with the foundation and with me personally is, you gotta see it to be it. You gotta see it to be it. Young girls need to see women in leadership roles so they can dream of being those women. Tonight, we celebrate her vision, and most remarkably, her 75th birthday. Yeah. This is a time when building strong and confident girls who will become strong and confident women is as important as it has ever been. Please join me in thanking our national partners and our co-presenters of the 2018 Gala, ESPNW, Gatorade, and the NBC Sports Group. Great thanks also to our event partner, TPN, to our beauty suite partner, Colette Lee Productions, 
we are all the beneficiaries of that. And to our photo partner, Getty Images, thank you all so much. The WTA is proud to leave the way with a gift of $75,000. I'm proud on behalf of uh, my, my wife and daughter to give another $75,000 to the Leader Forward Fund. The 2018 Women's Sports Foundation Sports Woman of the Year in a team sport, Maddie freaking Rooney. Every successful athlete started with a dream and had a good work ethic to accomplish those goals. But most importantly, keep a smile on your face and have fun every time you step on the ice because you're next. I'm very honored tonight to present this award. I actually got to be in the stands in London in 2012 and watch Castor run and win that medal. We had tears streaming down our face because we knew of the fight that she had endured to be on that track that day. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2018 Wilma Rudolph Courage Award, Castor Simonet. I'm just a rural girl, you know, I grew up in a, a dusty place. Um, I really, you know, appreciate, you know, the support, uh, the love, you know, also for appreciating, you know, us for being who we are, so we can be the best that we can be. The winner of the 2018 Billie Jean King Leadership Award, Gail K. Boudreau. And I shall continue to pay that gratitude forward to inspire young women and girls that they too can achieve their dreams and their goals. And they can find their inner power to lead and to make a difference. I congratulate all of the winners here tonight in support of equality for girls and women in sport. You inspire me. The Women's Sports Foundation 2018 Sportswoman of the Year in an individual sport, four-time Paralympian and eight-time Paralympian medalist, Oksana Masters. Thank you, Billie Jean King, for your vision 44 years ago to create this amazing foundation dedicated to creating leaders and ensuring all girls access to sports, including girls with disabilities. <laughs> the perfectly fitting way, Oksana Masters, to finish this pure inspiration, which is what this night is every single year. Yes. Thank you to all of you for your support of the Women's Sports Foundation. Means a lot. Makes every girl get a chance and a right to play. Thanks for all you do. Have a great night, everyone. Good night.